Today we're going to talk about a shot that a lot of players are playing totally wrong. Hey, welcome to this new lesson here on my channel. So when I'm at my local pool hall and I'm playing with some average players and this shot comes up, I would say about 70-75% maybe are playing this shot just wrong and that's why we're going to talk about this shot in this lesson. So this is the following situation as you see the free ball is hanging in the corner pocket and balls that are hanging in the pocket like this are always not that easy to judge. So we have to talk about it. This is the situation, the 9 ball is still on the table, the cue ball is somewhere at the middle of the table, at the center of the table and we have to get position for the 9 ball. What a lot of players would do right now is they would just try to draw this ball straight back and you just shouldn't do that. As you see in the video you can do it but there are two major problems. The first problem is you need a lot of cue power to draw the ball so far back. The second problem is look where the free ball is, it's hanging in the pocket. So you can hit that free ball on wherever point you want, you will still make the free ball. And if that's the case, it's really tough to hit it really straight to draw it back. I hit it a little too far to the left and then you can't draw it back. Or even here, just too far to the left side and I even scratched. So please, please, don't draw the ball straight back. So we aren't allowed to draw it back. Then a lot of pool players would also do this. Cut the free ball to the left and draw the cue ball just one rail back. Again, this works, yes, but it's still a tough shot. The contact point gets a little easier, yeah, you have a little more margin for error, but it's still a tough shot, you need a lot of cue power, the speed has to be the right, and that's why we don't do this. Look, I just hit it too hard, yeah, and we want an easy shot, we want a natural shot. So don't play this shot again, it's too tough to get position with this shot. What a lot of players also see is the shot where you're cutting the free ball to the right in this case with low left and go one to three rails to the nine and get short side position for the nine. Of course, this shot is also possible and for me it's not that hard. But yeah, you're going a long way. Of course, it's kind of natural, but the problem is of course you're on the short side so you have to be a little more precise with your speed control and you have to be able to hit the rail at the exact point where you want this third rail so you can do it but we want the shot a little more easy so we're gonna find another way to play the shot and then there's this type of player who's playing no matter what this shot always with rail first of course, you can do this. Hit the rail, hit the free ball, and then go one, two, three rails um, to the nine ball. The advantage of the shot is that you don't have to be so precise with your speed control. Because look, you're going from this third rail, and now you're fine, and then you're a long way fine. But the problem is, if you hit the ball a little too thick, yeah, you're not the right point on the rail, and yeah, you can even miss the whole ball. So it's okay, but we won't do it this way. Now we're getting warmer. In this case, a player decides to cut the free ball to his right, and then he uses some right spin and goes one, two rails towards the nine. This is pretty close to the easiest shot, but the problem is you're using right spin. You have to hit it hard. You have to flex and to calculate and you have your speed to calculate. So the shot can also be a little bit easier. We don't want to use that inside spin because the inside spin is just useless in this case. So we're going this way. This is the easiest way. Again, cut the free ball to the right. But then we're not using this inside spin. We're maybe just give a hair of left English, only a hair, even it's not necessary, but I prefer to give a hair of left side. And then we just have to judge the contact point on the free ball and the cue ball will automatically go towards the nine ball. This is really the easiest shot because 
you just have to hit the right contact point with no spin or just a little spin. So the speed control is really easy to judge. Yeah, just have the natural path, just let the cue ball roll. That's all you have to do. The funny thing is, if the cue ball was laying like that, almost every player would have played the shot like I have shown. Yeah, the easiest way with the touch of um, left spin and just go the natural path. But if the free ball would have lain like this, nobody would have gone that way. Because they are scared of the point. Yeah, hitting the point. But I will show you that you don't have to be scared of the point, even if the free ball is so far to the right side in this case. Yeah, just look at the tangent line. If you draw this tangent line, you're seeing where the cue ball is gonna go. Even with follow. Yeah, it takes a little while that the follow grabs. So the first inches, um, the cue ball is always following the tangent line with draw or follow. You will see a video about that soon. So, look where the tangent line is going and you will see you won't hit the point. Just cut the free ball to the right and go one rail the natural way, even if the object ball is so far to the right in the pocket. And that's just the whole thing about the chat. Yeah, the chat isn't something special, but so many people are scared from that point or if the, the free ball is too far into the pocket or too far to the right or to the left side. Just go to the ball um, look from above, imagine the ghost ball and imagine, yeah, where is the tangent line? Where is the cue ball gonna go? And if you can't imagine that, yeah, just to take two balls and try it out. Yeah, look at it, lay it down when you're in training. And so you won't be scared again from that ball and just be able to play it whenever you need it. And that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. I hope you learned something and comment, subscribe, like, and we'll see us at the next lesson. Take care.